What's up dancers, this is Jam back with another locking tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you how to lock to hip hop music. The styles of locking and hip hop have many fundamental similarities. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to bridge the gap between the two and help you evolve your versatility within locking. Let's do it. Damn, damn, here comes the man, hot damn. All right, so how to lock to hip hop music. This is honestly one of my favorite things to do. I love hip hop music uh, and I love hip hop dancing. I love the style of hip hop and um, blending locking with hip hop, it can be challenging at times if you're, if you're not really sure how they, they fit together, but when you do find it, it's one of the most fun things to do in my opinion. So the first thing to know about mixing locking with hip hop and locking to hip hop music is to understand the grooves, um, the rocks, and the bounces within each of these styles independently, okay? So in hip hop, most of the time what we're going to be doing is we're going to be rocking forward and bouncing down into the ground. So hip hop can be a very grounded style and very bouncy style, right? But most of the time you're bouncing in and down, right? A lot of these moves that we're doing in hip hop, they all have an emphasis on the down, okay? Now that is opposite to locking. When generally in locking, for the, I mean, 100% of the time, you're going to be rocking up right? Rocking back and bouncing up. So they're contrary, but if you understand how to um, do them at the same time, then you could find those pockets where it makes sense to blend either a locking groove in or locking arms in with a hip hop move, okay? So the very first and most basic one to, to know as we're getting into this is um, how to bounce with your arms, okay? So in hip hop, um, a very foundational way to just kind of start rocking and bouncing is down, right? But you're also kind of playing with this bounce of the arms as well, which if you see this bounce right here is the same as a lock. So we can use this bounce in hip hop to lock with our arms, right? If we add a different kind of intensity into it, we could turn this really loose bounce of the arms into locks, okay? So to put this into practice, all you're gonna do is start with a down bounce, right? So you're just gonna be bouncing down like you would um, in hip hop style, right? To some hip hop music, bouncing down. Now as you bounce, you add in the bounce of the arms, right? So the bounce of the arms, they go with the bounce of the knees, right? And of the body. So as I go down, I lock into it here and up lock into it here. So I bounce with the movement, okay? This is just the basic understanding of how your arms are gonna coincide with this bounce right here, okay? Now, along with the lock of the arms as you're doing these bounces, you can also throw in wrist rolls and points and other character things within locking to this bounce, right? So instead of just locking with the arms like this, right? As I bounce, I can wrist roll, bounce, wrist roll, bounce. I can point, 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 lock, wrist roll, right? So I can go from one count to the next, from one bounce to the next, in sequence and how I wanna create patterns with maybe my pace, boom, pace, or wrist roll, right? Wrist rolls and paces, into locks, into points, right? all keeping that hip hop feel, that hip hop bounce and groove um, with the arms. Now as the hip hop bounce blending with the arms and the locks become more comfortable, you can start to um, flip between locking style and hip hop style seamlessly throughout your freestyle, right? So if I, if I start with the hip hop style and I wanna start down, okay? And I, now I can start adding, right? adding my elements in, but I can also hit my classic locking style if I want to throw that in there too. So you can blend the down bounce of hip hop in with the locking groove of the up bounce and the back rock. And then you can learn how to switch between side to side to down to down to back. All of that piecing it together, blending locking style with hip hop style all together. So now that we 
understand the basics of mixing, locking, and hip hop within the grooves and the, and the fundamentals. Now I'm gonna show you a spe some specific hip hop steps and how you can lock within those steps as well as transition into other locking steps or other hip hop steps from them, okay? So the first one is, that I'll show you is the running man. And obviously the running man is one of the most classic hip hop uh, moves in general. Um, but it's not just the move, you know, there's a lot of ways that you can mix up that move itself. So let's just go over that really quickly. So within the running man, we're, we're focusing on the down, right? So it's all this down motion. So as I pick up the leg, I, when I put it down, my foot is going to slide back. Then as I lift this one up, this foot's going to slide back. And then repeat on the other side. Up, down, up, down, right? And I'll, I'll do a more in-depth video on that later. So with the running man, every time you step down with the running man, you could add um, some points or some wrist rolls or some locks within the step, right? So if I have my running man right here, I can roll, pace, lock, lock, point, point, roll, and pace, all at the same time. This can keep going independently of how I want to mix up my arms right here. Okay, now you can also, as you're doing the running man, throwing in your fundamentals, you could add in another locking step into a transition, right? So let's say I have my running man here, okay? Hitting my fundamentals on top, boom, bop, I can right into a Skeeter Rabbit. And if I want, I can go running man, Skeeter Rabbit, running man. Boom, 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 just like that. So another example of a move that you could use could be like the Bart Simpson. So the Bart Simpson goes side up, side up, right? So this right here is already a blast for a lock. So you can go side to side, mix it up, throw a pace in there. Boom, boom, ha, boom, ka, boom. Yeah, so again, it's taking that move, taking the fundamentals of the move and changing the elements with your arms. Yeah, and then even you can switch up add some locking into it and hit the move on the other side. You could, there's a bunch of different ways that you could just Rubik's it and mix it up. And one more example of this is, uh, let's say the Brooklyn. So the Brooklyn step is this right here. Step, step, yeah? So even here you can see that there's already boom, locking in my arms, right? And I could mix it up, throw some wrist rolls in it, ha, wrist roll, ha, boom, boom and then back into the style. So I can go from this hip hop style, boom, boom, to locking style, boom, just like that. Now that you have an understanding of how to lock to hip hop music, it's time to put it to work. I have a brand new locking choreography class in my membership right here on YouTube designed to help you practice all of the things you've just learned in this video. If you want to check out the class, go ahead and click that little join button below this video or the link in the description to join my membership here on YouTube. Within the membership, you'll get this brand new class as well as all of the classes I have available. And every month, I'll also be doing video critiques for you to send me your videos so I can help you on your dance journey. Go ahead and drop me a like and leave me a comment if you enjoyed this video. And if you want more of this kind of content, make sure you hit that subscribe button to check out all the new videos I have coming out. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.